when I left the US again I left in two weeks notice to myself I was very strong feeling about it that I don't want to grow old here and if you decide to start in India you need to start at the beginning so I thought okay if I have to go back I must quit everything and go because there is a point where you get used to it the American system is such that because your work goes well so you get used to it and I saw myself almost getting used to this that okay this would happen and I vaguely remembered by then after five years that what was it like in India to work I, I had no real experience about research in India but I had a feeling it won't be easy and I thought that I would become rigid if I uh, stay for longer in the US and uh, I won't be able to adjust in India so almost overnight decision clarity of thought decided that I need to go back Shagarwal had offered that if you are, when you are finishing, you write me a note. So I took that and I sort of jumped and in, I gave Randall a notice of saying in two weeks I'm leaving. It's a one-way ticket back home. <laughs> and I had to ship everything that I wanted to keep. Rest I just gave away there. So people there could not believe that I'm doing this. My friends and all. But I said, I don't want attachments anymore. I, I'm getting too attached here. <laughs> I need to get back. So it was a decision based on again, if you if you love science, leave India, and if you love India, leave science. I want you to change that. Come back here and do something. And I knew where, uh, when I was in India how I have suffered in some ways, and I wanted to change that for the next generation. Can't be that you know it continues the same way. More or less the same philosophy I took when I joined SNU. So you have first hand experience of how to change it. Why don't you just do it? Because otherwise the next generation would feel the same way. They would also continue to suffer because we did not do our job properly. <laughs>